Oh, Princess Leia in her metal bikini. Hubba hubba. Hey guys, I'm Stu Carter from Atomai TV. I'm in Hong Kong, part of China now, and we're gonna go on a toy store tour. We're looking for Toy Zone. Uh, they used to be located in Causeway Bay in Hong Kong Island, but they've moved farther out in Hong Kong Island to this place here. Uh, Taiku, uh, Taiku. Yeah. Well, let's go have a look. So I'm outside this place called Waha Factory Building. It's kind of creepy here. I, I feel like I'm in a Jackie Chan movie, like maybe some gangsters are gonna come out and start beating me up. Hey guys, help me out, look out for me, okay? All right, I'm going in. Look, this elevator is so old, this dude's got to run in for me. I can't even use the elevator myself. It's like technology before my time. Huh? Thank you, sir. Uh, oh, we made, we made it. We made it. But the door's closed and locked. <laughs> but we made it to Toy Zone. Oh, let's have a peek inside. Let's go. Okay, so I checked with the boss and he said it's okay to record in here. Uh, this place is huge. It, it's a lot bigger now and a little easier to move around in than the old Causeway Bay location. Now you can actually more easily walk up and down the aisles. But it's still stuffed with mostly legacy old antique toys from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Let's have a look. Hong Kong has several uh, companies. Hot Toys is one, but there's several other companies that make these realistic, very detailed 12-inch uh, scale action figures. And the features, I mean, they include cloth outfits. And here you see they've got heads, I guess, interchangeable heads. And uh, boy, the, the realism on some of these. And some of them are historic figures. Well, there's uh, 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 well, yeah, help me out, I can't, yeah, and that's, uh, wow, and more heads, and here, look at these, these army figures, I mean, even, he's got, even like, this guy's a corpsman, obviously, he's got his corpsman's equipment in his, in his belt pouch, hand grenades, of course, very detailed, I mean, it looks like a metallic rifle. Wow. That one looks kind of grumpy. I'm looking at prices about 1480 for some of these. Uh, that would be about $180 US. Here's a super huge Blythe standee. <laughs> It's kind of creepy. I wouldn't put it in your bedroom. <laughs> They've got these sh stuff shelved. I think it, it seems like it's roughly by by line, by category. Like over here is Marvel stuff. See, that's the best I could tell. Now here's some Stargate toys. Um, Star remember Stargate? There was a movie, then a series. Uh, this is by Hasbro. Look, look. There's the. That's a very old Hasbro uh, logo. These, I'm thinking these must be from uh, the 80s. Stargate. <laughs> Some more of these detailed figures. You guys help me out in the comments. I don't know who all these guys are. Some of them are obviously are fantasy figures. Some are from movies. Resident Evil. One, two, three, four, five. How many movies did they make? Yeah, wow, well, that one's kind of pumped up a little bit there. Masters of the Universe. There's some people crazy about these, aren't they? By Mattel, of course. They've got a shelf full of these masters, old Masters of the Universe toys. Yeah, and sure enough, they've got Blythe dolls. I, yeah, well, yeah, Takara Blythe. And then uh, there's a June Planning doll. That's a June Planning. That's another um, high-end doll collector company. So here's an X-Men toy from the 80s. It says Kailun, if you know, from Marvel Universe, Marvel Comics. These, this was made by Toy Biz, see? Now they made a bunch of stuff for Marvel and uh, Marvel movies. Uh, unfortunately, they're no longer in business. But there's a shelf full of these toys here.
And this is a, uh, a large section of Transformers products. Uh, there's some from Hasbro here. And there's a bunch from Takara Tomy. And I'm sure if you dig in here, uh, you're going to see uh, some that go back a ways. Oh, do you kids know what a Woody is? <laughs> well, it's a 1937 Studebaker pickup designed perfectly for carrying your surfboards to your favorite surf spot in California. Yeah, these are real cars. And you'll still, well, if you ever see an old movie, nobody watches old movies anymore. They're in black and white or whatever because they're all watching Star Wars. But this is, this is a Studebaker called a Woody. It has wooden panels on the side. And here's some Maycross figures. You know, Maycross is the Japanese version of Robotech, which is obsolete. And I saw some Robotech toys here. I'll go find them and put them on the camera. Okay, so here's the Robotech figures. It's got Harmony Gold's logo there, but these are put out in the U.S. by Toynami, uh, a company, a small American company that was importing uh, Japanese products, usually re redoing them in their own. And, and these are some of their miniature, kind of uh, mini Robotech ships figures. I used to sell these. Boy, if I had some now, I could sell them for a million dollars. You know, you can get a six six pack yeah and they're each each one is different wow they transform you see that's the whole like transformers kind of but they all turn into uh generally uh they look like american aircraft to me i think maybe they're not meant to be but that's what they do there's a big selection here model kits gundams and i saw aircraft and ship models as well just you know tons and tons big big aisle full of these Lord of the Rings, Toy Biz was big. When Toy Biz was in company, there they are, see the logo? That's That was their big line, Lord of the Rings. And this is, their, of course, their classic package. And they had play sets. A play set would be a good collectible right now. They have got they had the play sets for all those big battles of the fortresses. Yeah, that would be good to have, but I don't see one here. Nightmare Before Christmas, June planning. A huge, very creepy set with uh, uh, Jack Skeleton, was that his name? Yeah, Jack in a, a snow band. There's Pinky Street. Pinky Street, I used to sell these. These are nice collectibles. And they're cute little things. They're like, you get an extra outfit and you can change them. And um, by Vance Project, yeah. Pinky Street, I used to sell a lot of these. They're from Japan. They've got weapons here, which is probably a good idea because so much valuable stuff is kept here. And then there's many shelves here. There's display cases of stuff by collectors that are for sale, private sale. See, so you, the, each one's got a price on it. And, uh, you can bring your stuff here and sell it, or you can come here and look at some of this stuff and maybe you'll find something you were looking for. Oh, here, this guy, this guy's got a nice collection of army stuff. These are most certainly from Europe, maybe, I don't know. But these are the kind of tanks and stuff that I see when I go to the toy fair in Germany. Those guys really make nice stuff. Look at that, yeah. Oh, and what we used to call tin soldiers. Little army guys, and these this should be metal, die cast metal. Usually, originally they were made out of tin. And, uh, you know, creepy old guys like me would set these up in battlefield formations and little dioramas to reenact uh, various famous battles. And there, those were some Civil War guys, and here's some, looks like World War II guys. Wow. Oh, here's some Nazi SS. Wow. And there's a big gun back there. And some collector here has a pretty nice set of Star Wars items for sale. You can get, you can probably get a good deal. See, compared to buying in new in the box, you can get that Walker, and that looks like a Kenner Walker, like the one that we just saw. And then there's a new BB-8, and that's for sale for, uh, I don't know, I think it looks like a hundred Hong Kong dollars. Oh, Princess Leia in her metal bikini, hubba hubba. 
<laughs> Star Wars Unleashed. This is by Hasbro. And, uh, yeah, it's your classic. Get your classic Princess Leia in a metal bikini. See, it don't crack this anymore. <laughs> yeah. We all get old. <laughs> yeah, see, it's by Hasbro. It looks like 2004. And you can get a high quality uh, Stormtrooper helmet. EFX. And here's the new version. First order Stormtrooper helmet by Anvos. Uh, the price is 1950. That's going to be about 220 or $30 US. Ugh. I'll have to save up for that. I need something like that though. Okay, so here's the Star Wars ATAT -AT Walker. But it's not Hasbro, see, it's made by Kenner Toy. Kenner was the first company to make uh, Star Wars toys. And they didn't go out of business, they were bought by Hasbro. Hasbro swallowed them up. And so now most Star Wars toys are by Hasbro. Uh, now this would be a good thing to compare. If I had money, if I had room in my suitcase, this would be a good one to take home to compare to the ones that Hasbro makes now. There's Hasbro put one out a few years ago and then they're, they're going to do a new one soon. This would be a good one to comp compare. It says seven different real movie sounds and phrases. Yeah, wow. Nice collectible there. No idea what it costs. I don't want to ask. And then you can catch up on your Jar Jar Binks collection. Star Wars Episode One, Sealed Generator with Gungan Warrior. Well, okay, he's not Jar Jar Binks. He's a Gungan Warrior. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, here you can get your Star Wars Attack of the Clones mug cup and Anakin Skywalker figure together. <laughs> uh, well, why not? And here's some more from Kinder Toys. Uh, Princess Leia and Luke. Princess Leia is ready to get married, looks like. <laughs> well, here she is in her combat outfit. And I guess you get a little slide. You don't know what a slide is, do you? A slide you put into a slide projector and it it puts it on a screen, projects it onto a screen. <laughs> Nobody has a slide projector anymore, but they, they put a slide. Wow. Cool. <laughs> and then these are newer. They're probably uh, from Hasbro. Interesting. Here's a shelf full of uh, Star Wars lightsabers. And so you could choose the one that you like. That you prefer so you can get you know caught up in your star wars collecting they've got some bakugan here i i don't need bakugan as much as i need uh battle strikers because i keep getting hammered for not doing that battle strikers versus beyblades i'm still looking guys all right don't blame me okay that's my look at toy zone i'm gonna have to come back here when i've got more money but it's gonna be one of my regular stops when i'm in hong kong Yeah.